If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we got another tier list for you guys. We're going to be doing the Superstar X Factor tier list. So, pretty much, these are all the X Factors so far confirmed in the beta Madden 20. So, I'm going to be going over them now. It's not just so far much about the players, it's going to be mainly about. Hmm. To put this simply, seeing how x factors relate to positions so yes like tyree kill i'm not going to put him obviously like maybe well i don't know yet but like i can't just say oh tyree kill's 99 speed gonna be the best player i'm gonna go based off his x factor abilities and are these abilities good and i'll be going through because I've, I've played with all these teams already i've rocked with all the me and xerxes have been grinding out the beta playing each other over and over again i'm undefeated by the way as per usual don't let him believe don't believe anything he says on twitter it's all fake but let's get onto this list guys before we get into the video make sure you're down below Hit that subscribe button, turn that on to my boys, come join the family. Make sure this video a big thumbs up as always, and let me know down below what you think of these X-Factors if you have played with them. So let's start with the, let's see, so we got, it's looking like a bunch of Chiefs players up first. Let's get over to the Chiefs. I want to I be able to tell you exactly what they do also as well. Okay, so first things first, we got what I believe is Chris Jones. So Chris Jones has the X-Factor momentum shift. On-field opponents have their zone progress wiped. That's honestly cool. Like The only issue with that thing is that it doesn't really... It doesn't help per se the actual mm, it doesn't help the himself do better but it does stop everyone else's progression so let's say like his uh the running back on the other side had one more run away from getting uh bulldoze not bulldoze ability but oh what's the one from fear monger freight train anything it stops that so freight train uh what's oh wrecking ball my bad jesus i'm all thrown off it's early in the morning but it stops down. Now, guys, I do want to go through their superstar abilities as well. I know this is just an X Factor tier list, but I do want to mention their abilities because they do have more than just that. So I don't want to just be uh, blunt about, like, you know, just so upfront about it. Momentum Shift is okay. I don't think it's my favorite one, but he has El Toro, Dominant Bull Rush wins for max pass rush points. That's really good. So pretty much the way that's going to work is that he gets a lot of wins when he has a lot of Bull Rush points ready to go. So, like, early on, he's going to dominate. Goal Line stuff, which means he just sheds quick run, uh, quick quicker runs run sheds near the goal line under pressure which is good it just gives you a larger disruption for the quarterback now there's some stuff so in my opinion the x factor is kind of an l like it's not bad but i think it's a, i'd rather have like fear monger or any of the other ones a stoppable force i'm gonna put him as overall chris jones as a player i don't want to do just x factors i want to do like the, their build i'm gonna put him as an a player i think he's an a player i don't think he's a b c or anything else but his abilities obviously are keeping him up tyree killed next one X Factors rack them up. Now, I think rack them up is one of the worst X Factors. Personally, I'd rather have double mirror moss. Rack them up is like wins raw. Like, you have to be like contested, and that's only good at certain times. Like, if you're like contested and you throw a X catch and you're gonna hold on to and keep running, possibly. I'm not a fan, but he does have jukebox, short out elite, and grab and go. Grab and go is like human joystick after he catches a catch season on here, rack catch. Short out elite means that he's really good at running short out routes, which is really good actually for a guy like Tyreek Kill. He catches real quick, turn it upfield, and then jukebox. In my opinion, Tyreek Kill is also going to be an A player. Why is he not higher than an A player? Because I don't think his X Factor is that great. Next, number 32, we got Tyran Matthew. So he's just he's finally an X Factor. Your reinforcement, higher chance to defeat run blocks and dis and disrupt catches. So pretty much, he's reinforcement. He's that safe that comes in and just he comes in on a run late. Just blows up the line, uh, whatever the lineman, and gets right into the backfield. Or someone catches the ball, he comes flying in, holds him, ball gets knocked out. I think he's a very, very well-rounded X factor. Honestly, the reinforcement's pretty solid. For a safety, not bad. Now, again, I don't want to put him all the way up because he doesn't have anything. He's not dominant, but he has really good everything. So I'm putting him in A again. Now, Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey has double me. Travis Kelsey has double me, which double me's okay. Wins aggressive catches for single coverage. I also don't think you use the tight end too much, typically, so it's very rare they actually get their, their uh, X-Factors, as well as you probably won't be using them on your tight end anyways. Leapfrog, which I think is a waste. I don't know how it'd be this year. Tight end Apprentice is good, and Deep Out Elite's not bad. i am put him in B, because I think Double Me I think double me is okay. Like Again, not the one I'm going. I'll probably go Mossed. If I had to pick any of them, I think I'd love Mossed. And uh, just in my opinion, on a tight end, I don't think it's in, I think it's like B, because you're not really using those abilities on the tight end. We got Mike Evans next, but we, let's finish with the Chiefs here. So we got Patrick Mahomes. Bazooka is amazing, guys. I didn't know. I didn't know the. I didn't know the advantage of Bazooka until I versed Zerk. I remember Tyreek Hill. I sent him on a streak, and he had Bazooka activated. 
I threw that thing from like the 15 yard line and it it just soared for at least 10 seconds. And he's like, ah, oh, that's gonna be a pick. And you just see Tyreek Hill keep running, keep running. He's slowly gaining traction. And before you know it, he's in the he's in the other corner of the end zone and he's wide open by the time it got all the way down there. I've never seen a pass carry for that long. He's going in A just before I even get further. X Factor is amazing. Comeback is reduced zone objectives while losing. Dashing Deadeye, one of the best abilities. Red Zone Deadeye, great ability. Escape Artist, one of the best abilities on quarterback. And no, look, Deadeye is just cool. Not great, but he has everything there. So all his abilities and everything, gonna be as a whole, gonna be there. Now, let's get to the Bucks. Bucks, we got Mike Evans first. Double me. So double me on a wide receiver is really good. On uh, tight end, I wasn't really a fan of it, especially because tight ends typically aren't double coverage. I mean, I'm mean, sorry. Tight ends usually aren't even in single coverage, is what I meant to say. Because sometimes they, they get a lot of seam routes, they get a lot of out routes. Like, they're never typically manned up on. And if they are, they're in man coverage. Now, if you're a good user, a good defensive user, probably starts to man up your tight end after a while if you're abusing the tight end. But again, we're going for the, the, the typical here. Deep out elite, which is decent. Mid in elite. Okay, so red zone threat. I really don't like his abilities. So I feel like I feel like with a guy like Mike Evans, you're maybe doing streaks with him. You're maybe doing post. I'm probably not doing a bunch of route running type things. Deep passes outside the numbers. Okay, so it's gotta be a deep out. Right? Yeah. Mid in elite, mid pass inside the numbers. Red zone threat. No, I think Mike Evans is gonna also go in the B. I'm not a fan of everything he has there. And like I said, I know people are doing this just based on X Factor, but I want to do it as a player overall. So it'll be a little more fun that way. Now we got Lamar Jackson here. So Lamar Jackson, he has okay, I might say this on Truss or Trues. I don't know. Can't fumble as a result of a tackle. No, I think that is a phenomenal ability for Lamar. Why? Lamar, so my in my opinion, I want an ability that really like, X Factors, to me, in my opinion, I'd like abilities way more than X Factors. Because they can you get them sometimes, but Trues or Truss, all you gotta do is run a few run eight times which you'll probably do with Lamar Jackson. And then once you get that, you can just take, and there's no injuries in mud, right? So you can just take off. Like you see like you see three guys. Let's say you see two guys. Now you could probably juke one out and keep running. If one of them hits you, you might fumble. Juke them out. Worst case scenario, you get hit stick. You can't, you can't get injured, you can't fumble. I think that's amazing. You got jukebox, tight out, which means just consistent catching from tight ends to beat their coverage. Fast break, which is great, and escape artist. He's going in. I think that's one of the best X factors this year for a uh, running quarterback. Nothing's more infuriating than not being able to use your running quarterback in real life. Because in real life, Lamar can juke six people out. But in this game, you can't do that because you know after like one juke, you're kind of tired, you're going to fumble. Oh, by the way, back to the Bucks. We have Tom Brady still here. Tom Brady has pro reads. In my opinion, I think pro reads are one of the worst ones. It highlights players that you're probably not even looking for. Like again, yeah, it's what it does is pretty much every play, your drag or your flat route is going to highlight it because it's going to be open a lot of the time on checkdowns. So it just distracts me. I really don't think it's great. I'm not really a fan of it at all. Hot Run Master is really good. Conductor, set feet, lead, and fearless. He has amazing abilities, but that X Factor kills it. Honestly, the X Factor would irritate me, and it's very easy to get. So I'm putting him in C. Coming up next, we have the Falcons. And then we got, I believe, oh, Calais Campbell's on the Ravens. Let's go back there. Calais Campbell, run stuff. Or block shedding is more effective versus run plays. That's honestly important. You guys may not think they might want a pass rushing one, but he has inside stuff, kills inside runs, run stopper, shed attempts are free on run plays. And then edge star, he can pass rush, he can run stuff, and he has run stuffer. In my opinion, I think Elias Campbell is going to be the ultimate run stopping pass rushing. Like, he's going to be amazing to start this year. I got to put him all the way up there. Just And not, not just him in general, like, those are some good abilities on him. Like, he can pass rush, he just runs stuff, everything. And if you get him over, if you get him to his X Factor, he's able to literally, he's going to destroy the run. And finally, we got Julio Jones. No one really went in that bad category because I just can't. I, I mean, I might make some adjustments after we get to the end of this based on who I see where. Julio, double me. Double me again for Julio is really good. He has mid-out elite, which again, not a fan. I mean, Julio does run a lot of routes. Okay, a mid-out elite on Julio makes more sense than Mike Evans at least. Route technician, quicker cut for running routes with amazing ability and deep-out elite. Now, guys, I don't know if this year deep-out elite means you have to do an out because it doesn't say that. It just says on deep passes outside the numbers. So could you be running a streak outside the numbers? Like, I don't, I don't know how that works. But... Again, Hulu's gonna probably go around here. I don't think that those abilities are the best. I feel like I'd rather have like, uh, like route map. What is that? Like route technician plus having the one that like, where you apprentice, where you wide receiver apprentice, and then probably have streak specialist on Julio. In my opinion, if you have someone like that, that's a glitchy receiver. Now let's move these around. Okay, so based on what I see here, I think Julio and Ty. I feel like Tyreek. His abilities for what he is. Up uh, jukebox, grab and go. No, he's really good. He's staying. Tyron's really good. 
I feel like this is pretty good. I do want to. I, I don't. I don't think anyone's D here. I think this is fair as it is. This is good. Yeah, that's good. I, I like my list the way it is. I'm keeping it the way it is, guys. It's better for the video. Let me know down below how you would have changed this list based. I'm using superstar abilities and X Factor abilities, not just and how they'll, be, they'll benefit that player, not just generic abilities. They were faces to the name. So, guys, better for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure down below, hit that subscribe button. Turn on. Go down below. Sorry. Comment. Let me know what you guys think of these players. And let me know how you would have read on this list. And if you need the link, uh, link to the thing, it was by Fumble Forcer. You go at, at his Twitter and you could probably find it on his page as well. Or copy the URL above. Guys, about it. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.